This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. The views expressed on the following program do not necessarily reflect those of WPSL. However, we are the ones who encourage you to like and share them on social media and with all your friends. It's time for the Science of Caring, Careology, hosted by Carebag Incorporated's own Roxy Brown. Thank you, Cliff. How was your week? Oh, it went by quick. I was I know, surprised. This, it, the year is just... I wake up and it's poof, another week. And it gone. seems to always increase in speed time anyway. Yeah. All, all the way up to the holiday. Oh, yeah. And then it slows back down again, I hope. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I want to say welcome, welcome to all those who are listening on WPSL. Thank you for tuning into Carology. My name is Roxy, and we want you to be safe while you're traveling in your car on your way home because we have some drivers that are not paying attention this season, but we want you to pay attention. So just sit back, watch the road, listen to us, and don't speed. Like we had the chief on the other day, everyone raise your right foot if you don't want to get a ticket. I love it. It sounds corny, but I do love it. Welcome, welcome. If this is your first time tuning in with us, we are happy that you are here. And we just want to welcome you. Carology is a weekly radio show every Tuesday at 6.05 p.m. on WPSL. And what we do is we promote caring. We promote, it's a, I love it. I, we've been doing this since January and I have really come to love this. We give resources, we share resources, we share information, we educate myself, we educate others on about what's going on in our community, what we can do, what we have, and there is so much and we are so grateful. At CareBag, our mission is very simple. We provide access to proper hygiene to the homeless and families in need. And like I have been telling everyone for now almost going on a year, as you see these long lines of food, those are the same people that, go. unfortunately, which is shameful, government assistance does not provide the basic access to proper hygiene as soap, toothpaste, shampoo. But we are very God-blessed that CareBag Incorporated is here, and we are here, and we can go ahead and provide that to our community. And we cover the Treasure Coast, and now we can say we are, go, we are now all the way down in Broward County working with the Broward Sheriff's Office. So we are very, very happy about that. And before any one of my social media lets me know, I realize the camera is backwards. So I we will sort that out as soon as we can. Just to let everyone know, Friday at 2 p.m., we are pulling the drawing for our car. Um, if we don't reach our quota, whatever money, whatever money has been raised, which everybody can see by going to givecarebag.com, we are going to split that in half with whoever's there, whoever wins. So we're very, very happy and we're very excited about that. And uh, tonight is our grateful night and we have Pastor Haynes with us. Hi, Pastor Haynes. Hi, Roxy. How are you? I'm doing okay. Very good. And everyone's okay? Family's okay? E everybody is well. Okay. So I'm not going to say what I usually say. I don't want to make everybody well, upset. Well, yes, that's okay. <laughs> I think Cliff's heard that many Cliff times before. Cliff heard that before, <laughs> that I'm the pastor's <laughs> favorite. But we won't tell nobody else that. You were probably a teacher's pet as a child, too. <laughs> um, no, I'm the one that caused the trouble. I'm going to be honest. The class I mean, clown. No, I wasn't a clown. Never oh, a clown. Okay. No. She was a uh, class troublemaker. Oh. Uh, my, the teachers would say that my father said I was just challenged. They weren't challenging me enough. Well, I had radio in mind, and uh, somebody would say, well, what kind of a day we're we having? I said, the weather today is going to be, and they'd say, shut up, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> well, I know we had, I had a very good week, and I'm glad about today because, Pastor, what is our topic for today? Well, we're talking about making positive change mm -hmm. for the new year. Yeah. And um, so, so we want to look at what that means. What that means. Okay, so positive change to me means one thing. When I think of positive change um, that we're going to make towards the new year, the first thing I think about is we surround ourselves with so many toxins and so many pollutants and so many chemicals in our lives, which I'm talking about jobs, people, pets, you name it. But what I'm thinking about is sometimes we need to make a positive change 
by eliminating some of the toxic substances in our house. And I don't mean everyone pack your wife and your husband's bag and throw them out. That is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is go through some people. I was talking to someone a couple months ago and they were like, I'm always having a headache. I'm always having a headache. And she went to the doctor and the doctor said something. What cleaning solutions are you using, Pastor mm -hmm. Hayes? That's what they asked. And so she started looking at her cleaning solutions and she started changing them and things her her health started to get better. So look through you know, we have some great cleaners out there. I'm not going to call any by name, but what they put in there to clean your house, what they put in there to make your house clean and shiny, is that making you sick? We're going to do a show on that because that's a whole nother show, Pastor Haynes. Well, I, I don't have the expertise to talk yeah, about I don't that so have much. It, but, but <laughs> from the conversation I had with her, I wanted to bring that up to everyone. Watch what you have in your house. You never these are chemicals at the end of the day you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know these are chemicals and if it's cleaning your house and you're not putting on gloves these things are being absorbed into your system so it, you don't have to have a, a master's or doctorate a phd to have common sense that's just common sense people so just think about that but one thing we do want to talk about is what positive changes we can make towards the new year because this is our last show for the new year pastor yes it is a and obviously this uh this is the season not just for celebrating mm -hmm. um christmas and new years and everything but it's the season when people are focused on what i want to be next year so right. lots of resolutions mm -hmm. people you know everybody wants to uh become better uh for the new year and so it's important that we we understand um what a positive change is it could be any change you want to make in your life but it has to have uh it has to have a plan with it mm -hmm. uh i saw this this quote someplace it says a dream with uh written down mm -hmm. um with a date a dream written with a date becomes a goal oh i like that a dream written written with, with a, a date, date becomes, becomes a goal because so we write everything down so that's so, so you set the pace for okay. what what you're looking to accomplish mm. um it co it continues to say a goal broken down into steps becomes a plan oh so you like have that. a dream and we all have dreams. But you have to have a plan. But you have to have a plan. And you have to back it up. You have to back it up. Mm. And a plan backed by action becomes a dream come true. Ooh, I like that. I, I love that quote when I, I saw like, it. I because like that. Because too many times we have dreams and we are thinking, oh, all the great things I'm going to become. Mm -hmm. But we never take, we don't take the time to sit down and write it down. And write it down. And make it what is called a smart goal make mm. sure it is I'm something i'm gonna write that down smart goals i like that <laughs> right yeah uh, yeah a like smart that. goal has to be specific it has to be measurable has to be attainable mm -hmm. um you know those these are important you know i can set i can set a goal that mm -hmm. i i can never attain yeah and it makes no sense and so a lot of times we've heard of resolutions lasting only about 22 days less uh, in than the sometimes year. Sometimes less than in that. In many yeah. cases, less than mm -hmm. that. Okay. And so uh, people set, uh, resol they make resolutions at the beginning of the year and by, th by halfway through January, it's, so it's all the out the window. They say by the 5th or the 7th. <laughs> Pastor Haynes, I want you to hold on to that thought because we're going to do hashtag smart goals. That's what we're yeah. going to do for today, hashtag smart goals. But we're going to take one quick break, one commercial break, and we're going to be right back because if I have anybody else text me about the video is sideways, I'm going to go mama bear, but I'm going to fix it. So we're going to take a break, and Carology will be right back right after this message. If you could reimagine the way you buy a car, what would you do? Make it simple? Make negotiations disappear? Demand transparency? Then experience amazing at your Treasure Coast Lexus dealer. Car buying simplified. Treasure Coast Lexus is a proud sponsor of Carology. Every Tuesday at 6.05 p.m., caring and supporting for our community. Car buying simplified. Check out your Treasure Coast Lexus dealer. 
how would you like to win a Lexus UX 200 with taxes paid? No car payment. That sounds terrific. Go to givecarebag.com. All proceeds go to help our local nonprofit, Carebag Incorporated, where they provide access to proper hygiene to those in our community in need. We also have two additional prizes. Go to givecarebag.com to find out how you could win a beautiful 2021 Lexus UX 200. No lease, taxes paid. Drawing December 17th, 2021. We now return to Care Bag. Actually, Careology presented by Care Bag. Once again, here's Roxy. Thank you. Thank you, Cliff. So I'm just going to tell everyone, turn your phone sideways. We are not going to let that interrupt us with our hashtag smart goals for the day. So... Thank you, Pastor, for that. So for anyone that just started listening, welcome to Chorology. My name is Roxy. This is our last show for the year, and we really wanted to put it up. It's a two-part show for today because I got another surprise for you guys. But we're talking about what positive changes we can make towards the new year. So we're doing hashtag smart goals. But Pastor Haynes, you said something. What do we need to do when we do goals? Because that was actually awesome. Okay, so uh, what we need to do when we are writing our goals, especially as it relates to our resolutions for the new year, mm-hmm. uh, we, need to f- to, uh, we need to categorize them in two groups. Okay. What are my needs mm-hmm. for the new year? And what are the things I want for the new year? Um, a lot of times we do not differentiate between needs and wants. That's like when I go shopping. I, <laughs> I got to say, what do I need and what do I want? They're two different things. Very good. Mm. So if we are going to have a very positive um, result, then we need to know for sure that, first of all, we have to take care of the things that we need first. Mm-hmm. If we do not take care of the things we need, because our wants are usually, um, the re- in, you know, our emotional, you know, thinking. It's it's what it's what I think I I need, but I really don't need it. I can do without it. Yes. Our needs are the things that are essential for our survival, our well-being, you know, our place in the community. Those things are important, and right. and those are the kinds of changes we need to focus on. And it's going to make us to have a positive result. If we just go for our wants, and that's one of the reasons uh, these resolutions fail so quickly, because I, might, I, I may want something today, mm-hmm. and, and I'm all gung-ho about it. This is what I want. And then by next week, I don't, I don't want it anymore because right. some things have changed in my life. Mm-hmm. And the it wasn't thing, a priority. It, it wasn't a priority. So... Um, we need to separate our needs from our wants. And it's okay to have wants. Right. It's okay. We're all human beings. We all live in a world where we are bombarded with things all around us. every minute. Absolutely. Every three seconds. Absolutely. But our needs must be foremost. Mm-hmm. And, and I also want to say, when we talk about our needs, I think... And I speak as a minister of the gospel Mm -hmm. that perhaps the most important need is our spiritual need. Mm -hmm. This is often set aside. Right. Usually we are talking about our psychological needs, our physiological needs, and those things are good. Mm -hmm. It's important that we have good health. It's important that... Uh, we have good friends around us. It's important that we have a good, good social network. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's very important that we have a healthy spiritual life. Right. Because that is going to set everything in order if we can get that going. And for people who don't understand what that means, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go to a church. And right. I just want to make that clear. But it is... You have to get to the place where deep down within you connect with your maker. Right. There is this connection. Definitely. And and I know in our in our societies today, I, most everybody believes that there is mm-hmm. something greater and higher than 
ourselves. ourselves. Yeah, they so must we be. know it's God. So right, anything, absolutely. Anything anybody else that's your business. <laughs> yeah. But on Kerology, that's what we preach. Go ahead, Pastor. Praise, this praise is my, God. Amen. This is my show. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So I think, I think it's important for us to make that connection, that mm-hmm. spiritual connection. And, and the, the, there are two ways we do that. Um, people came to Jesus and they said, uh, what's, what's the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus right. says, the greatest commandment is to love God, right. love the Lord, have a connection with him, have some relationship with him. The second greatest commandment is to love your neighbors. And when he said neighbors, he didn't mean the person who lives next door. Everyone. He anyone meant everyone. That, anyone that's taking a deep breath. All members of yes. the human family. That's it. To, not, to love Not someone them. that, someone said, one of my um, girlfriends got me a shirt. She had a shirt made for me, and she said, your, be- your friends should not all look like you. Woo. That's Absolutely. Deep. Yeah. Your friends should not all look like you. If, you're, if all your friends look like you, you, you need to check yourself. But, but could you imagine how boring life would be if we all looked the same? Yeah, if, if definitely. We, I, I, it would have been if there was real, all a Roxy, we just yeah. couldn't handle yeah, it. Yeah, we couldn't. Re- <laughs> one is almost Enough. too many, right? <laughs> there you but go. Flowers in the field. Flowers, there you go. Flowers in the field. Yeah. So what else do you have for us, Pastor? Um, so, so what I want to say is um, our needs are primarily our physiological and our psychological needs. Um, Abraham Maslow was correct, I believe, when he he said, you know, we need to have food, shelter, shelter clothing. clothing. That's it. Uh, then we need to have uh, safety mm-hmm. and security, and then we and we access need to proper hygiene. Uh, he does say very that. Very good. Because we, it, I do, I do follow him. In, in other words, we need care bag. We need, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the mouth of a pastor to the uh, world. There absolutely. We, we need care bag. That's it. So, so that's, these are needs. And I mm-hmm. think care bag is meeting those, uh, you know, physiological and even security and safety needs. Right. Those, those are important. Psychologically, to give people, uh, to, to show them and, and to uh, assure them of their dignity. That yes. is really important. It is. And so uh, those are important. Our spiritual needs are stuff like uh, connecting with family uh, from deep within. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, A lot of the stuff that goes on between family members really shouldn't be. And we've talked about forgiveness and we've talked about that kind of stuff in the past. It's really important that we kind of close the gaps that exist Mm -hmm. um, within family that's very highly spiritual Mm -hmm. because most of those things are caused because of emotional issues and we need to get past Past that that. the the toxins in the in in you know in the emotional environment around you only have one family there's there's a whole bunch of it so we need to repair any any problems any rifts uh, within the family structure we need to repair that Uh, we need to surround ourselves with with good positive people and you know uh, and I don't want to say avoid um, uh, other people but at the same time you need to have and and I know Roxy you will say avoid them I will say avoid them like the plague if they're toxic (laughs) because what you what you're around you bring home with you you're around no but if you're around a toxic person and you're having a bad day and you come home to your loved one, that rubs off. That rubs off, So you Absolutely. might not be able to say it, but I can say it. It passes on, and, and you don't want to bring that into your home because your home and your family, that's you. That To me, that's you. Right. But as Pastor would say, we show everyone love. Yes, we do. Yeah, we show everyone uh, love. Absolutely. That's what we do. Absolutely, so, yeah. Oh, so what else? So... The last word, because you me, we're for those that love our grateful and gratitude Tuesday every second. So we're gonna say this every second Tuesday of the month is our grateful gratitude Tuesday. We have so many young people that are committing suicide, and uh, so many our suicide rate in this county is too high for this county. It's too high nationwide. Period. And around this time in the season, so many people are alone. So many people don't have families. So many people don't sit home by themselves, not wanting to on holidays. And they just, they, they cringe inside because they don't have a friend. They don't have a loved one. So we want everyone to know someone out there loves you. 
if you're feeling this way, pick up your phone, dial 211, talk to someone, it's confidential, and someone will sit and talk with you and help you. There's so much to be grateful for. Sit down, like Pastor said, and start making your goals. Make smart goals. If you have something planned for the future and for the next day, you would, you're, you're going to want to wake up. You're going to want to see the next day. And that's what, you know, that's something we want to leave you with. Pastor, on your last words to us, what do you want to say for the la- end of the year to our guests? The, here is what I want to say. If we, if we approach 2022 uh, with a positive outlook mm-hmm. and we actually sit down and write our goals down. Mm-hmm. Now, I will give one, one, uh, one note here. If, if you write a goal down, if, if let's say you say, I want to, I want to lose 20 pounds. Praise uh, God. Every <laughs> 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 for some reason, that's one of the main things people want to do, do for the weight, resolutions. Yeah. But if you want to lose 20 pounds, what I want you to do next is, besides saying, I want to lose 20 pounds, uh-huh. I want you to write beside it, why you want to lose 20, 20 pounds. pounds. What's I want to lose 20 pounds because. because. Yeah. And then you need to keep this wherever you can mm-hmm. see it all the time. On the fridge door. <laughs> on the kitchen pantry Best cabinet. place to put it. Best place to put it. On the fridge door. Absolutely. That's it. And you don't have to start for 2022. You can start now. You can start now. You can start. Absolutely. And that, to me, that's the best way to do a goal. If you got a goal, you have s- somebody put something in front of you that is dynamite. You don't say, oh, Oh, I'm gonna wait until three weeks. You jump on it because you know it's good. Jump I on it, it. I called it a special diet I was on. It's called stay out of the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can do that and, too. And 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 take it in small steps. Small steps, yeah. Don't don't try to get it all done in in a couple of days. It's not gonna work. It's not going to work. Take You'll fall it from flat on your face. Somebody that tried that years ago. Yeah. You take, will stop on day seven. Take it in small steps, <laughs> and and you can you can actually. Tell tell yourself, okay, by the end of or by a certain date, date I want ninety days. Right, I want to be able to do this and mm-hmm. in small steps, so you can measure, your and success. that's part of being the smart goal. You can measure your success as yeah. you go measure along. Measure your outcomes. So it really is important that we do this. Don't just don't just on New Year's Day stand before whatever you have and say I'm stop oh, drinking, oh this year I'm going to stop out. yeah yeah it it's, it's not going to work mm-hmm. in a couple of days it will be done now when it comes to the smoking part <laughs> having been there and done that I discovered that if you can go cold turkey for three weeks you've done it really and you, and, and you can really look forward to it working for you if you make it to that third week because that's the hardest part the first three yeah. weeks that's it Okay. But I was disgusted with myself, so I decided I will punish myself by going cold turkey. And Did it work? Yeah, well, okay. on two different times. What, yeah. the, the, what happened, I bounced back to it mm-hmm. when I had a, a bad day once in, in mm-hmm. the midst of like 10 years, you know. And then uh, it took me took me a long time to get back. Yeah, to the it. conventional wisdom out there is if you can do it for 21 days, you've yeah. got it done. You've got it done. Okay. Good, good. Well, yeah. Pastor Haynes, it has been an honor and privilege. I am so glad. And we just want to say hi, Miss Pansy. Peyton, we see you out there. And Jet and Deborah, thank you guys. We see you guys. I see your messages. We appreciate it. Pastor Haynes, I am looking forward to what is our next, our next, hold on. We got January coming up. And January, we are going to be talking about is money the root of, of all, all evil? evil. Whoa. The love of money, perhaps. <laughs> you know, it all depends on what you do with it. Yeah, yeah. All depends on what you do with it. Pastor Haynes, it's been a privilege. I'm going to, well, I'm going to see you anyway. So you. Sure. <laughs> I'll be seeing Pastor Haynes over okay. the weekend. So that's good. Because I am his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. Huh? It is. It is. I get first picks after the family. I'm right after them. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm driving my church people crazy when really? I say that. It's all good. But thank you, Pastor Haynes. We'll see you in January. In January. And Absolutely. thank you. We appreciate this. We're going to get a couple words from our sponsor, and we will be right back with Carology. Don't change the dial. Stay tuned. Keep your eyes on the road. We'll get a glass of water, a glass of wine, whatever makes you comfortable. And we'll be right back after this message. Stand by as the barber enters the studio. Why call? 
two men in a truck of the Treasure Coast? You want to move your business without moving a single meeting? You want it handled with no fuss. Lots of stuff, no time to move it. You need the pros that care. That's why you call two men in a truck of the Treasure Coast. Family owned and operated franchise. Call 772-236-0827. 772-236-0827. Movers who care. Visit two men in a truck, treasurecoast.com. Thinking of building your next home or renovating? Come see us at Groza Builders. We will create a home suited for your lifestyle. With years of experience means we give you a complete professional service from a dream to a concept. You will get the best results, best value, best quality is what you get from Groza Builders. Visit us at GrozerBuilders.com. You deserve better. You deserve Groza. And now, back to Careology. Once again, here's your host, Roxy. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you. How is everyone doing? Um, thank you for tuning back into us. My name is Roxy, and welcome to Careology. And we switched up a little bit this week. In my studio, I have Jesse White. Hi, Jesse. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And we are going to have an exciting day coming up, which is December 20th. December 20th at the Mid Florida Event Center. Jesse and myself have teamed up, and we are doing Kicking It, Kicking it Kicking United. It United. Kicking It United. And what that is, is we are offering free haircuts to kids ages 1 to 15 years old. We have bounce houses. Now, this is sponsored by our main sponsor, who is? Neurostrive. Neurostrive Hydration and Med Spa. So I'm just going to deviate a little bit, Jesse. Just give me a sec- just a couple seconds here. I stopped by that place. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I was blown away. Absolutely gorgeous. You stepped in, and I thought I was on vacation at one of my beautiful spas. This place, well, you've been there. It is absolutely beautiful. The people, the ambiance, please go check it out. It is right off US1, right next to LA Fitness. LA Fitness. LA Fitness. Wawa LA Fitness, and they're right there in that plaza. It is absolutely beautiful, and we want to thank them for being our main sponsor. We're going to have music by DJ Dundada. Dun, Dundada. Thank you, because he knows the words I'm going to mess up. <laughs> <laughs> Food is provided by? Uh, Zaxby's. Second Street Bistro and Zaxby's. And we all know that is good food good right food. here. We ain't bringing no, we ain't, we ain't bringing no uh, McDonald's or anything. No offense to McDonald's, now. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're trying to get the kids something nice to eat here. We're giving know? the kids a healthy, healthy option. Healthy option. Healthy right. option. So, everybody, this is, Rox, this is Roxy's twin, so you just work with me here. <laughs> we're going to have a bounce house by Spacewalk Inflatables. So, our kids are going to have a great time. And I just want to run off. I want to give a shout-out to all our sponsors. So, give me one second. We have Neurostrive Hydration and Med Spa, mm-hmm. Zaxby's Second Bistro, Spacewalk Inflatable. Southern Eagle, Cut Eagle Distribution, Cutting Edge Customs, Twisted Tuna, mm-hmm. Dun Dada DJ, mm-hmm. Barron Real Estate, Face Forward, Pink Nails and Spa. Then we have, what's my car wash guy's name again? Uh, it's whatever it says on there. No, I have just car wash <laughs> on here, but it's detailing. You guys it's, come yeah, out. It's, it's, a, it's a good car wash and four piers. Yes. And it's a good car wash and four piers. It's, there uh, we go. Th- these guys have started from the bottom, and they're just trying to. Trying to make a better living for themselves. And these are local. These, Locals. Every, that's, why we, yeah. that's why we say in Kerology, shop local. Mm-hmm. We got Toshibo Business Center. We have Anne-Marie Graphics, Design Assign, Lowe's of mm-hmm. Stewart, Dyer Chevrolet. And we have Connect Cuts, So Poetic Hair, Beauty by Rose Petals, Care Bag, One Against the Grain, Sam's Club. And we also have Two Men in a Truck. And we have our guy, Roger, who does read a lot, Revitalize stabilized Fort Pierce is a clean they go into I was with them this weekend they go into the community and they clean up and it was absolutely fantastic so Jesse I want you to tell me how because okay so I'm just gonna put bit put a disclaimer 
Roxy Carebag did not come up with the idea. This young man approached me. Uh, I got a call from someone that I know very well and who I just, I'm, I'm very, I'm close with and I have enough respect for. They called me and they told me about him and I said, give me a call. I want to hear what he has to say. And he called me and this is what came out in 48 hours, right? Oh, we, Boom, we did this yeah. in 48 hours. Yeah, a lot of it. A lot. So tell us how, thank you for being on Carology. No problem. I appreciate that. I, I appreciate love what you do. Here. Tell us how you came about with the first Kicking event. It United, the first oh, event. My first event or this event? Your first event. My first event was called uh, Keeping Toga Fresh. Um, I'm from Saratoga, New York, <clears throat> Saratoga Springs, New York. And, um, you know, I just remembered as uh, I was going through some tough times um, in my teens and uh, a little before that. And I just remember, like, you know, I remember my, my adopted family. You know, we had, we had five children in the family. And I remember how hard it was for them to, to bring, to, for everybody to get haircuts. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we were on a low budget. Uh, low income family, you know, and we and we live in low income housing, and it was tough, you know. And not every not every kid in that they wanted not everybody in the, every kid in the house to have the same thing, right. you know. So if one didn't have, nobody had. Nobody had. had. You so know what if, I'm saying? So if you didn't get a haircut, nobody got a haircut. Exactly. Okay. That's my that's my. So you know, uh, basically, I started looking like Shaft. <laughs> I didn't I was going to that, school. But hey. I was going to school, and they was like, oh "Boy, you need to get you a weed whacker for that thing." <laughs> but anyway, so, so yeah, that's what that's basically it. You know, I the just conception remember, of coming out of it. Right. I remember. It. I remember times being rough. That's what. I, that's what I remember. And I, you know, and and um, you know, at some point in my life, I decided that, you know what, as a barber, right, that was connected to my community back in New York, um, I said, you know what, I'm, I have a lot of clients, right. I'm thinking like. You got all these clients sitting in your chair, right? All of them own businesses, right? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't it be that since you have such a connection to the community through your people that sit in your chair, why wouldn't you have everybody come together and call this the community to, to help these children that don't have, you know? So anyways, one day I walk into the, I, I, um, I, no, the mayor was doing like her roundabout. She was just stopping by uh, different restaurants and stuff like that. And, and I happened to see her and I said, Hey, can I talk to you for a second? And she goes, oh, well, uh, you know. I'm, I'm, yeah, I know. You know how I know. Go, right, I know. Right, 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 I know. Right. But see, our, like, first of all, who our, mayor, our mayor Martin doesn't do that. So <laughs> no, there you listen, go. No, listen. listen <laughs> I got to say, Joanne Yemsey is one of the, uh, she's my best friend now. How about that? Mm -hmm. You know, after we, she, so I said to her, I said, I have an idea. She goes, all right, I have a couple minutes. What do you got to say? And I said, I was thinking if you could get me to city center, right? Mm-hmm. I can get all the kids there, right? We give all the kids free haircuts for back to school. She and loved it. She loved it. She jumped she on it. She jumped on it. She, she jumped goes, on it like somebody you know. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Give me some. There we go. Yeah, so, That'll be me. <laughs> yeah, so basically, yeah, mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's why, uh, you know, so so now here I am. This is what sparked it. So now I'm, I'm, I'm here um, in Florida now, right? I'm cutting hair for about, I've been here about three years. Um, I'm here in Florida now and I'm basically, <clears throat> I'm basically doing my best to build whatever it is that I have now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm trying to build this empire. I'm just trying to work hard. You know, I, I'm, I'm in my shop every day, you know? Um, so I, I thought to myself, one of somebody back in New York said to me, they texted me one time. They said, mm -hmm. uh, what'd you fall off? That's what they told me. You fell off? Yeah. They, they, Why? They said, what'd you, you fall off? They don't, they don't see you no they more. They don't see me no more, right? So I said, hold on a second. I thought about what they were saying. And I said to myself, oh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So, you know, when you tell me something, the way my mind works, my mind is a, me a mechanical, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a sharp mechanical object that will it can make any, it can move mountains if I really put it to use. You know, and that goes for all the young people out there that think that, like, you count it out. Or somebody got you counted out. Don't even worry about the people that got you counted out. Worry about the people that got you counted in. Okay. So good, good words. So uh, <clears throat> and and those are the people that you need surrounded around you anyway. As so I, just to let everyone know, our engineer is taking notes on what you're saying. So there you for go. For hashtags. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't so, count. Uh, hashtag. You're not counted out. There you go. 
That's it. So, so let's let's move forward. So moving on this. forward. All right, moving forward. We I'm, I said to myself, "Oh, you trying to say okay? All right." So basically, what happened? I said, "You know, what? I'm gonna do that event, and I, and I want to do that event again. You know, and I want to do that event." Because here is my home now. Treasure Coast is my home now. Mm-hmm. So being that Treasure Coast is my home now, I figured I, I've been around the blocks a couple of times. I've seen, you know, I've seen a couple of children get in my chair. I've seen parents come in like, how much is your haircut? All right. So let me tell you, I, normally on my normal basis, my haircuts are kind of pricey because of the kind of work I do. Right. You know, and, and, and if you look at my work, you say, oh, OK, I kind of get it. But I don't want families to feel like, you know, I like can't afford they it. can't come yeah. to me. I want I want them to go. You, I, they have to go to another. They should go to another barber or somewhere else because they can't afford me. So this is my way. Right. Once a year annually. This is my way of saying, you know what? For those that can't afford a haircut or think that the haircut is too much. Well, here's 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 my dual diligence to give back to my community by affording you free haircuts. You know so. what? I think that is absolutely amazing. I wonder if our studio audience feels the same. I, I'm not hearing them, but I think our studio audience is loving Hey, this. studio audience! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had to turn the light on. They weren't responding, so I had to turn we had to We had to wave them in. That, you know what? That is what community is about. And I just want to let you guys know, Everyone that has come on has come on here with a heart of gold and a heart of giving. Mm-hmm. And this is a free event. So free. any child that comes. I have someone that called me and said, oh, I was looking at your flyer and I have a question. And I stopped them, Cliff. And I said, ma'am, any question you have for me is the flyer has answered it. Because you see the big word here, this four-letter word? free there you go you don't have to ask me about the bounce house no. you don't have to ask me about the food you don't have to ask me if you can't listen to the dj yeah, yeah. it it's free and we want families to come out we're doing at the mid florida event center that was something that was very very jesse was very passionate about it and when he came <laughs> to me i said we're gonna do it and he yeah. said i got i said okay we got it and we yeah. got together and as we talked and after he didn't have to hammer me, he didn't have to nail me. He said, this is what I want to do. I deal, care bag deals with proper hygiene. Mm-hmm. I see kids that come into my shop. So when they come into our center and we see them and they need a haircut, this is perfect. And I want you guys to salute him. We have a young man that is in the community working diligently to get his life in order to, he has goals that he wants to reach, but he's taking a pause from his goal to go ahead and give back to the community. So Jesse, I just want to let you know one thing that when you do that, your blessings are going to just overflow. They're just going to, they're just going to be overflowing like crazy. And this was by him. And I am so great. I am so honored and grateful to be a part of this and the community that gets I'm behind happy that, me. I'm happy that you came on to be honest. Well, I'm, I'm happy. You, I'm excited. I've been, I've been over here trying to juggle things I even got. It's been we got this. Here. This is gonna. This <clears throat> is actually a. We've dubbed this our first annual yeah, because we plan it. to the, do it again. Yeah, this okay. is the, no, we don't right? plan. We're going. We're going. Thank you. He keeps no, correcting no. me. Beyond planning. Beyond yeah. planning. The, the, the plan's already there. We, yes. we Now we just put it in the movie. So if anyone is interested, I want you guys to come down Monday. 12 monday on the 20th of december monday from 10 a.m to 3 p.m we want you to come in we want you to see what we have going on we just have a couple of things we need to do we need eight barber chairs we have those little chairs we saw at walmart that's what we're looking to buy because we want our kids sitting in chairs we already have a place to store them anyone wants to help us you know how to get in touch with care bag so if you if we want eight nice little office chairs chairs, that we can our barbers can roll around and turn the kids around we don't want the big arm chairs they're like 26 dollars at walmart there you go and that's what we want so if someone who wants to get in touch with us we need it before monday don't call me monday i don't need it monday (laughs) i need it before monday you have our number you know how to get in touch with us call me anytime and we'll be happy to come and pick it up if you want to order it at walmart and tell us to go pick it up we'll pick it up Okay. So we need eight chairs so our kids can sit in. We want them comfortable. Your basic office chairs like what we're sitting on now. Right, no, except they don't have the handle. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, they, right, you see how right. you have the arm rest? They don't have, right. right, right. We, we, don't want, we don't want that. It's just so the barbers can move yeah, around move and it's easy because we can't bring the barber chairs to the civic center. That's un, unreasonable. We can't do that. So that's the only thing that we're needing, but we're going to get it. Right. I, whether you do it or not, we're going to get it. Oh, so, we're going to take care of it regardless. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is what we're doing. And again, we want to say thank you to our sponsors. We are so excited. I just, I just want to say real quick. So um, <clears throat> about the NeuroStrive thing. North Drive is a med spa, and uh, you know what? The, the 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 city center and the, the mid event center. I spoke to a doctor, my friend Eddie. My friend Eddie is a really good friend of mine. He believes in the same how you believe in me. Mm -hmm. He believes in me full force. He's like, and whatever. Eddie's a sweetheart. Yeah, he is. And he said, whatever you, <clears throat> I've seen you in action, and I say whatever you, whatever you put your heart in, bro, it's gonna happen. So uh, whatever you do, I sponsor that. So he basically said, I need, I have a doctor that I want you to meet, right? And I met the doctor and I explained to her and I said, <clears throat> she goes, so what is it that we're trying to do here? And I said, well, <clears throat> we have a situation trying to get this uh, this event center and this and a third. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I ain't going to put her business out there like that. But I'm going to say that I, I really appreciate her. She knows this. And uh, what she did to make sure that this event happens will never. This, this is the beginning of she, she only had to do that one time. She'll never have to do that again because from here on out, that's going to be you know, that's going to be where, where we're going to have our event at. All right. That's, there we go. Yeah, so. so we want to tell everyone, if you have kids, you know, a neighbor that needs a haircut, this is our, I'm using this half hour at the end of our show for mm -hmm. the end of, no, not our last, it was our last show at past. I have two more shows for the end of the year. I'm using this show before the event to let you know, if you want to be a part of kicking it United get a hold of it. for our free haircuts, get a hold of us. We'll let everything that we have come in goes to this event. You know, we, we have our water. We, we need we need more water. We, we need more juice. We want to make sure these kids are hydrated. Right. We want them to have a good time because this might be for some of these kids. This might be the only fun time they have for the year. And it might be the very first time they've gone to a barber. Yeah, not. a Yes. Some might get cut at home. This might be a nice place where they'll go and get a haircut. So this is important. And parents will remember that the next time the child needs a haircut. They'll That's say, right. Who was that guy that was at that event? And again? his name is Jesse. Jesse White. Jesse, Jesse White. White. Well, listen, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. My, they, they call me Jesse your Barber. Just, Jesse, Jesse, Barber. Jesse your Jesse, Barber. Jesse your Barber. You know why? Jesse. Let me tell you why. Yeah. Jesse your Barber because I'm not your mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not your chef. <laughs> yeah, your barber. I'm just your barber. I understand. I understand because every I'm task, not your bailiff. Every task that I, I love take it. up, it becomes just part your of the barber. job. Just your barber. <laughs> just yeah. your barber. That's, that's, yeah. that, that's that New York thing. That's, 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 New York that's thing. it. So I love Over it. Here. Just your barber. Over just here. Just your barber. Over here. Sit down. Wow. So you know what? This this is great. We want people to get on board. Roxy is pleading out to all of you guys. Get on board. This is community based. This is, you know, something happens. Everyone wants to go to Miami, wants to go here. People are talking about we don't do nothing to community people. We're doing it. We're having it at a place where there's free parking. It's free haircuts, free food. Your kids can have a great time. Bar licensed barbers. I'm not, we're not, Jesse, I have not done anything with the barbers. This is Jesse's domain. He has gotten licensed barbers. Then these barbers and these women, we have mm -hmm. women coming Doing to do braids. simple braids for braids girls. For girls. Yeah, so yeah. girls, your ladies, your little princesses mm -hmm. can have their hair done for the Christmas. You can be together with your family and you can look good because he's just your barber. Just your barber. Listen, yeah, we don't, <laughs> we're not, we're not, yeah, we're not going to definitely, I, I definitely wouldn't have, just like if it was my own shop, I wouldn't have. There's not going to be any um, freestyling haircuts. It's not going to no. be like, oh, this is my second day cutting hair. I no, was just no, giving no, no, it a no, shot. No. This, is, no. this is not a practice go. No, this is not this, a practice turnaround. The barbers turnaround. that I'm bringing in here are barbers that are going to make your kids look like they're ready to take pictures right then in the spot. Hello. Uh, so, I might have to bring my good camera. Yeah, you might you, have to. I might, might have to. Bring, That'll be, might have there to we go. Yeah, no, no, I have some yeah, friends. I, I have some I, yeah, friends that so are photographers. Yeah, I'm going to reach yeah. out to them. This ain't no, this, this is a real haircut here. This is, like I said, you know, th these are people that wish that they could afford real, real nice haircuts. And they said, the, you know, that's a little bit pricey for them. Well, now this is your shot to bring your children in to get those nice haircuts that you and guys that, wanted. And you know? please do not, please do not be 20 something years old and dress <laughs> up like a 15 year old. We gonna spot that. Like it Michael is, Ma Michael McDonald on Mad TV. No, we not doing that. This is ages <laughs> one to 15. 
these are for our children ages 1 to 15 we want to make them look good we want to make them feel good we want to give them that pride and dignity when they that's look right. in the mirror they're going to see a whole new thing that's, that's right. what we want that's hey, what listen, we want i i i, re- I realized um that the the best thing about pushing a child to 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 do more with his life is if you give him a little bit of confidence of course you know and yeah. And, yeah. and it starts it. with how you look and, and when you look in the mirror is the confidence builder you know and that 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 same confidence is what that same look is what got me confidence so when when i got through the hard times which every i still go through hard times every day it's funny i woke up i woke up before and and called and called roxy and said i'm breaking down right now and he calls early people i just want to let you know that (laughs) he calls early but thank god roxy's an early riser but you know what God doesn't just call anybody. God, see, this is this is what I told him. God just doesn't call you; He equips you. So when He equips you to do what you got to do, He's gonna give you what you need. Mm-hmm. So when He gives you what you need, you just gotta make lemon. You want to do something? The lemons are gonna come right there. You make lemonade. If mm-hmm. you're trying to do something and you can't find it, that means God hasn't equipped you to do that. God has equipped Him to do this. Because for 48 hours, we were done. I want to let wow. people know: 48 yeah. hours, we Everything were done. done insurance contract yeah. everything yeah. sponsors we were done if you need an insurance Banners. agent just talk to roxy <laughs> <laughs> so let me just let you know if anyone wants to come on please our banner you can't be on the banner the fly hey the flyers for those that doesn't see they're on our website they're on jesse's site our flyers are done design a sign is doing our banner our graphic artist Anne marie did our graphics yeah. we're done you can't get on it we if you want to come on for the love of a there child, you, you right. come on. That's right. You come on. We'll give you much love mm-hmm. next year. But because we need people on. This is for our children. Jesse's not making any coins from this. I'm not making any money from this. Care Bag isn't making any money. A hundred percent of everything we get goes to these children. Kids, yeah. We're I remember getting new my aprons. first haircut. Yeah? That was first a time long time ago. Oh, it sure was. <laughs> <laughs> And, oh and, wow! And Taking you know, shots at him. years yeah, later, yeah. I went. I went up there, and I went, and that same fellow was still working there. Wow! So and I said, "Did you know you were the first guy to ever cut my hair when I was like four or five? And he still, he was still and he there. Was still there wow. at that time. That, that was in the seventies, late seventies, yeah. but uh, still." He was doing it. But that's the thing. We want kids to remember. They get a haircut. And you know what? One haircut can change a, change a child's life. Oh, His yeah. whole that's life. That's it. Oh, Their whole life. Yeah. You Just the person sit, seeing another man sitting there uh, or seeing a woman doing this. Wow, I, I can do that. You don't know what course of action mm-hmm. is going to take for that child. Right. So we want to commend Kicking It United with doing this. We have, there is so much success has gone into this. And I know it is going to be fabulous come Monday. You don't have any kids. Come on out Please and see do. what we're doing. Hey. You know, see what we're doing. It's going to make a difference. Jesse, I got six minutes left. What All you right. got to say? All right. So, listen, I just thought about it. Right. So when I was thinking, somebody asked me, they said, well, what do you mean kicking it united? Well, first of all, this is what happened. All right, so I know somebody that that is uh, friends with a, a kid soccer team. Uh-huh. Right. And I thought about it metaphorically and I said, oh. Oh, that would be cool, right? So basically what I have in mind is that we kicking it, not like a soccer ball, but we kicking it all different races, nationalities, walks of life. You know what I'm saying? The we diversity all, will be the there. The diversity will be there. Our financial background, it does an economic background. This is what my first my first event that I had in New York brought five, four to 500 kids. I gave them school book bags. Every, every school book bag has school supplies in it already. Uh, sponsored by Walmart. Um, I also had Bouncy House. So basically, I'm doing the same thing again in Florida now, but this is going to be around Christmas time, and you know, and maybe in the future, hey, I might, be, I might do it right before school. You might get double the. You never know you the never way know, it goes. You, know? you never, you don't know what we don't know what God's going to equip us with. Right. So, so we're not going to limit ourselves. So we bring, we bring the I'm people limited. that are financial, yeah. that that are doing good financially, and let's not forget about the ones that you know live in uh, a little bit struggling. And we all come together and help each other. And, and if it starts from the bottom of the generation, then the love grows from there. Yeah. You'll see the younger child that has is. You know, he has those nice clothes and those nice things. And he look at the friend that he would just met at the city center and says, Mom, how come he doesn't have these things, you know? And guess what happens then? That child helps the other child and you know, you they go. become good friends. So that's that it. That was my idea. Well, we love it. And you know what? 
kudos to you we love it we love it we love it so i'm just gonna say jesse it has been a pleasure to i'm not gonna say it's been a pleasure to talk to you because we're gonna talk tonight we're gonna talk tomorrow we're gonna talk every day until <laughs> so i'm just gonna say it was a pleasure having you on Kerology. we appreciate that i appreciate no, but and i and i know it is going to be a success i'm excited about monday i really am yeah so, and like you said remember tell them to please please if you can help out if you want yeah, to help if out. you want to help out let us know this is going for the kids and we're going to leave the flyer Did here I with see Cliff. something about volunteers on that yes yeah, yep. if you'd like to volunteer thank you cliff his eye is sharp mm -hmm. just text haircut to 772-222-7399 or go on our Facebook page and you can get that information. And if you can't remember the number, dial 211. Tell them you want care bag and they'll give you the number. It's that simple. And you can get in touch. We are looking for some more volunteers. And our volunteers get a nice kicking it United t-shirt from Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Nice. Real nice. And thank you to our sponsors. Yeah, it's and better that's than Gucci. Ooh. Right. <laughs> and thank you, Baron Real Estate, for that. They're Baron sponsoring our T-shirt, so we thank you. But we're going to get – we have three more minutes. we got to close it down. Friday, 2 p.m. at Lexus, we are going to be pulling the winner. I don't know how much money is in the kitty now. I know it's a little over $4,000. We did not reach our goal for the car. So whoever is the winner, you are going to split that money 50-50 with care bag. So wow. somebody's going to have some cash for the Christmas. Ooh. If you don't have the car, you're going to have some stone cash for the Christmas. Okay. And that is even going to be nice. There you go. So come on out. Thank you, Lexus. Thank you, Groza. Thank you, two men in the truck we want to thank all our sponsors that help care bag and we are so grateful thank you pastor haynes for our last show for the year about what we can look forward to the new year you will be here in the next two weeks though. i will be here i will not just stay home that was just for pastor haynes oh okay <laughs> that the, was the our grateful together there. Yeah, yeah that okay. was our grateful week for the year and we we kicked it off really good remember hashtag smart goals Make oh, smart yeah. goals. When There's you have smart few, goals, yeah. anything could happen. You can conquer the world. You can do Kicking It United. You can make this an annual, yeah. biannual event, every quarter event. Oh, you don't yeah, know what's what going to happen, what God's going to equip you with. Write your so, goals down and measure your outcome. There you go. So we just want to say on behalf of Care Bag and Careology, we thank all of you for tuning in. We are going to be back next week, and we have an exciting, exciting show next week. I'm just going to let you know we have attorney Anthony Bono, Bona coming on and we are going to be talking to her about what happens when you get arrested. What happens when somebody's in jail? What do you need to do when the police said a read your romance? You, you um, have a right blah, blah, blah. to remain silent. Thank you. When they read you your rights, what is that? What does that mean? This is something good to listen to because one day some of us might be in that situation. Some of us have and just didn't know. Mm -hmm. So tune in next week. We're going to get some good information. Cliff, I'm going to have Cliff take us out. Okay. And thank you guys. Love you. And see you back here next week, Tuesday. All righty. See Monday, you, Cliff. Monday, December 20th, 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. at the Mid-Florida Event Center for kids ages 1 through 15. Free haircuts, care bag, and kicking it united have joined to put this together for you. Music by DJ Dundada. Food by Zach B, Second Street Bistro, Bounce House by Space Walk Inflatables, and more. That's Monday. And don't forget, Lexus Drawing on Friday at Treasure Coast Lexus. You've been listening to Careology, the science of caring. On WPSL, Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast, webcaster to the world on Google Home, Alexa, and the TuneIn app on your smartphone.